the fact is that the way we create, run, manage software has changed over time. Uh, the whole culture around it has also changed. How have you seen the methods of attack by ransomware? They have also changed, uh, which once again, based on your uh, research, as you said, you know, it's becoming more tech. Uh, it, it can be social engineering. There are so many ways attackers, you know, target uh, their, of course, targets. Uh, how you have seen it changing, evolving, where you're like, of course, to be honest with you, these are some of the smartest people on the globe, you know. As Linus once said, you know, these are smart people. We want them on our side, not on this. So so talk a bit about how you see the evolution of uh, uh, these attacks. They're smart and they're innovative. You know, they're constantly changing. So they may focus on a specific industry that they know is more likely to pay. So let's say healthcare or critical services may be more likely to pay a ransomware attack. Uh, and, and we may focus on, you know, scale, trying to go in and do automated attacks. And, and where we saw here is 143% increase in zero-day attacks. So just launching malware, then that malware will break in versus, you know, trying to send you uh, an email. So if somebody sent me an email and, and they said, hey, Steve, you know, go to this website and you can get a new uh, Frisbee for disc golf, which is my passion. Well, I'm I'm going to go to that site, click, get my free Frisbee. They're never going to send it to me, but they will download that malware. That's how they used to do it. And now they're less dependent on the person and able just to directly attack, which allows them to, to scale faster. 